YouTube is for the franchise guy. We are coming at you again with a brand set of our NHL 21 Vita Pro featuring a chance Bishop guys. You see right here the Toronto Maple Leafs finally won a Stanley Cup. It only took them what three seasons to reach that Stanley Cup, but Chance Bishop right now is in fact was this is the final year of his uh, rookie contract, so he is officially a uh, a free agent. Sure, he is an RFA, so whoever does sign Chance, unless it's the Kings, does have to pay a price for uh, the young fellow right there. But I'm going to take a look at some of the awards on this season, guys. Uh, frankly, just because we need to just take a look at how that does, because I also forget how to get to them. Record books, not record books, Sansa Kopitar's, all that for uh, the thing. Let's see, let's see. It's Stat Central? Stat Central, that's where it's at. I knew it. I knew it was Stat Central. We actually led our team in points right there, which is wild. 92 points for Chance Bishop. Led the team, uh, let's see, goals wise. Alex Turcotte led the team in goals. 35 and 32 for Hoffman and Bishop. Bishop led the team in assists, 60, 57, 55, 42. But yeah, a 92 point season for Chance Bishop. Still says only a second line for He's 19 years old, guys. Dude is literally a child. So he's going to be 20 years old, a free agent. So he's 17, 18, and 19, yeah. But yeah, 32 goals, 60 assists, 92 points. Dude, dude went off. Dude went off big time right there. But take a look at the awards. Maple Leafs win the Cup, uh, uh, Presidents, Clarence Kemmel goes to the Sharks, and Prince of Wales goes to uh, the Maple Leafs. Now we have individual awards. We have Leon Dreisaitl winning his second MVP last year's with Connor McDavid. Dreisaitl wins the Hart, I'm sorry, Art Ross, the Hart's uh, MVP. Still winning his second MVP award. Dreisaitl McDavid was last year's. Uh, John Klingberg um, up and Drew Doughty. For the James Norris, Lady Bing, Mitch Marner defeats Patrick Kane, or he uh, succeeds Patrick Kane as the uh, Lady Bing Trophy winner. Uh, Emlyn wins the uh, Calder Cup for the Stars. Mitch Marner wins the Conn Smythe last year's was Nathan McKinnon. Uh, Vesna goes to Anton Kudobin last year's Auntie Ranta. Mike Smith goes to William Jennings, defeating uh, Dubnik from last year. Edmondson. Wins the Bill Masterton. Uh, Edmondson. Uh, Coglin won last year, the year before, right? Yeah, the year before it was uh, Coglin. And Ryan O'Reilly keeps winning the Frank J. Saki Award just because he's the greatest. He's won the last three years in a row. Ted Lindsay goes to Leon Drysettle, beats teammate Connor McDavid. And Maurice Richard Trophy also goes to Leon Drysettle, beating Vladimir Tarasenko from last season. So there's that right there. Cool looking at all the awards. Uh, unfortunately, Chance Bishop did not go home with any awards right there. So we're going to go to the calendar. We're going to sim up to the free agency deadline because I've never done it. In this game, at least, I haven't watched many people do it either. So I don't really know who, uh, how it works. I haven't watched them done it. Apparently, we can't see the who's retired. All right, uh, sign free agents, update here. Ooh, oh, okay. Okay. So, as you guys know, I am a huge, 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 huge Flyers fan. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing my Flyers hat or my Flyers jersey. <laughs> I have nothing Flyers around me, but I am, I am sorry, I, I cannot say no to the Flyers. This is literally like a dream come true for me on who I'm going to play for. So I, I, I have to do it. As much as I wanted to stay with the Kings, I wanted to be an all-time Kings legend. Do you see that they have 15 centers on roster? Do they draft a center with their first round pick last year? They have Chance Bishop who's playing the right wing. And I have no problem playing right wing. I have no problem with that. Don't get me wrong there. But I am going to tell you with a team that had one less win, three less losses, and four more overtime losses, and the Flyers, and try and bring a cup back to Philadelphia. That is my absolute 
goal right there. All right, look at that. Look at that switch. It's got the Flyers jerseys in the background. That's insane. Uh, it's similar to this, up to this date. Cool. We got we got we got a skill uh, a trading point unlocked. Do we have a little any? Do we have anything? No. Do we have anything? Is anything gonna come for? Do we have a press conference? Do we meet the coach or, or something? Does our agent want to talk to us? We're in September now, so I think the season starts literally like next month. Uh, any anything? All right. New conversation with our coach. Awesome. Okay. Oh, we're the captain. We can't be the captain. Have the Claude Giroux. Why are we the captain of of this team? We are not the captain. There's no way we are the captain of this team. Please tell me we're not the captain. Then we might be. We scored 92 points. We could be. We could be the captain, which would be mind blowing right there to me. Uh, chance the coach and management have been discussing uh, for the forward while we think the next thing to go. Going to going forward, you're going to be the next captain of the Philadelphia Flyers. We are the next captain of the Philadelphia Flyers. Dude, this is incredible, Coach. This is uh, something I've always hoped for. I've never did imagine it become reality. Uh, it's only fitting the best player on the team. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go right here, dude. Team, go for the team right here, my guys. Did uh. Don't change on or off the ice. We named you captain because we know you can lead this team. I can keep on doing uh, doing that. Thanks for believing in me. I wouldn't have been able to get here without the support from the entire organization. Well, I mean, we haven't been here yet, guys. Calm down. Fit in. The support of all my teammates, coaches, and management has gotten me to this point. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um... There we go. Let's fit in. Let's let's fit in. Let's go. Let's go a little easier now. Let's fit in. Uh, if the boys have an off game, whether you're responsible or not, uh, you're going to have to be answer for the team. Of course, dude. See you later, alligator coach. I love that right there. It's wild. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the team we're joining right here. We have Travis Konechny on the first line with a 35 year old Claude Giroux. How's Claude Giroux looking? A nice season last year he's over a thousand career points so good for claude dude's definitely gonna be a hall of famer you'll have to see that right there uh but it's got tk claude Giroux, and chance Bishop on the first line only at an 86 overall so this is a second liner all right hopefully we can uh, grow from that we have goal fair 23 year old left wing he's a high top six he's a second line forward last season how do you do 50 points not too bad on pace is where you're at now uh, morgan frost second line is a low elite all right spent some time in the minors the year before i just spent all the season in the minors the year before a uh, nice season right there 55 points in his true first season bobby brink is a depth forward listed Ooh, making his nhl debut as a top six medium Former first round draft pick, but we still got Kevy Hayes, left handed shop. He's listed as a second line for we got him on the third line playing left wing. How you doing, you two way monster? 50 points last year, not bad, uh, especially coming off of an 8 to uh, 26 points right here. All right, definitely a down season right there, only 26 points. Nolan Patrick grew to an 87. Okay, I like that right there. Consistently 50 points these past two years. What you want out of Patrick? I mean, that'd be probably a little better since he was a second overall draft pick. Uh, Mikhail Gradland uh, coming over from San Jose with that guy, San Jose Chance Bishop coming over from the Kings. Oh, he's a little older. I didn't think he was this old, actually. But Mikhail Gradland uh, coming over from San Jose, joining the Flyers. Uh, Andres Bjork, where were you last year? You're a Toronto, so you just won a cup. You just got yourself a ring, came over to Philadelphia. You're okay for a fourth line. Jason Dickinson. Dude, we love Jason Dickinson in this channel. Dude is a legend, a channel legend. Because, well, he's on our he's on our Dallas team. Hey, that guy's just came over from Dallas. So, Jason, welcome welcome back to Chance Bishop. You way to have your way to you know pop up in two series on my channel. Good old Jason. And uh Matt Nito. How's Nito doing? Neat. Uh was it Philly in 20, 2021? Uh, then bounced around for the last few seasons and came back. Uh, defensively, 
Purvey, Sanheim, Cam York, Justin Hall, Phil Myers, and Ali. I don't like the Ali Mata down there. But Provy, uh, 42 points last year. I understand points aren't uh, all that for defensemen. But I'd just like to see like what we're looking at right now. 66 points in Lehigh Valley for York making his NHL debut in Game 1. Which will be next episode will be our Flyers debut. Uh, Justin Hall right here. His last year's from Philadelphia. Probably not too bad. Felipe Myers. Ooh. Was with Washington. And, the, and Ali Mata. Tampa Bay Lightning. God, Chris. I don't like Ali. I just, I don't care for Ali Mata. I never have cared for Ali Mata. I don't like him. Scratched, we have Chandler Stevenson, Stephen Jones, another man from our Dallas franchise, and Andrew uh, Man Manchapani. All right, Kata Hot and uh, Samuel Montari. How do you say his last name? I like how our backup's older than our starting goalie. Uh, he went 20 and 18 last year, so he definitely just needs some help in front of him. Uh, 16, 13, 27, 13, 31, 25, 31, 21, 20 and 18. I mean, 125 and 90, not bad. Uh, he's got 10 career shots, a 9 at 4 career save percentage. Yeah, that's just a ba uh, bad year. Two, 2020, 2021 is also not great for him. So, a 3.2. So, definitely just need to work on staying in front of Carter Hart getting him what he needs and Samuel right here um, with Florida 18-19 career just a backup nothing too special for him uh, but that's about it for this take a, actually you know what's one thing is take a look at the record stat central is that at so well that stat central uh, no not stat central look at that record book record I'm gonna go team records here for the Flyers all right, so Claude Giroux currently is the team's leading uh, point getter. 12-10 uh, is Bobby Clark. Uh, seasons, Claude Giroux, all-time seasons with uh, 16. All right, I need to move my mic because it's kind of blocking. Uh, the totals right there. There we go. I moved that slightly to the left. Assists, Claude Giroux, 710. Uh, I'm sorry, 701. Bobby Clark has 852. Games play, Claude Giroux is the current with 1124. Uh, so he's going to break Bobby Clark's all-time games played this season. As Clark is only at 11.44. So 20 games in the season, Clark should break that record. Penalty minutes, 429 penalty minutes. I mean, Rick Toshet at 18.15 is not going to not gonna give that one up any time soon. Shutouts, Cutter Hart has 10 currently. Bernie Perron has 50 in his career. Wayne's 107 for Hart. Ron Hexel has got 240. And goals, Claude Drew sitting at 350, while Bill Barber sitting at night, a crisp 420. Nice. So, those are the seasons right there we have for the Flyers. So, I'm pretty sure, guys, we will not have to be doing another one of these videos for quite some time, if ever, as we have landed on my dream team here in NHL 21. I'm just saying it now that this team, I, I always say that I want to be on these teams forever and I want to spend here. But for real though, I got offered a contract by the Flyers, my dream team. So I'm pretty sure we're going to stay here with Philadelphia for the duration of NHL 21's Be A Pro uh, career season series. Bon text on YouTube though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. Have a great day. Wash your hands. Wear your face masks. And most importantly, fly or die, baby. I don't, I don't know.